News flash. Potential snowfall near Seattle. <laughs> Howdy y'all and welcome to another episode of The Smoke Report. We've received about a foot and a half of snow in the past four days. Then yesterday the winds kicked in and blew it all around everywhere. Today things are looking better. Uh, the temperatures warmed way up. I would say today we're somewhere near uh, one. <laughs> All right, I'm your host, Jay Todd, and boy, do we have a wonderful show for you this week. First though, I wanted to remind everyone out there that in two weeks, this show will take place in fabulous, sunny, warm Las Vegas, Nevada at the Tobacco Plus Expo. I will be reporting from the floor of the event, and I'm going to try to get some interviews for the show, so be sure you're watching. <coughs> Okay, uh, let's cover this week's news so I can get my butt inside out of the cold and start packing for Vegas, baby. You see, uh, there's this raging debate these days over e-cigarettes, mainly because they're so new to the market and there have been no long-term studies on any potential health effects. So, who do we, as consumers caught in the middle here, believe in the ongoing argument. We have the government on one side who seems to vilify anything that they can't tax. Or we could believe the e-cig corporations that are trying to make a profit off of us. Let's look at an article published on about.com this week, which talks about a study reported originally on Reuters Health. In a very carefully worded title, they say that electronic cigarettes may not be any better than real cigarettes after all. Oh my! Do they mean that e-cigs contain the same toxins and chemicals as real cigarettes? No. Although, it is certainly a catchy headline and will surely pull in some readers, just like it was designed to do. But. But, when they claim e-cigs may be no better than traditional cigarettes, they are referring to the constriction of the airway, which is most likely occurring from the effects of nicotine, which are also found in e-cigs, and how that could pose a potential problem for people with COPD. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> The uh, truth of the matter certainly sounds a lot different than what that catchy headline reads. Boy, I, I hope that no one just reads the headline and not the article and gets the wrong idea. We'll be back in a minute. ever thought that you've got it tough as a smoker, you know, uh, dealing with excessive taxes, unfair smoking bans, or simply the glares of those morally superior people every time you light up, consider the fate of a woman caught smuggling cigarettes into Ireland this week who got 15 months in jail. Of course, uh, <clears throat> this was the the fourth time she's been caught doing this, and uh, she was smuggling in 12,400 cigarettes, and you thought you smoked too much. <laughs> oh, my friends, lastly, I wanted to talk about how popular this show has become. You see, uh, in addition to the thousands of views we have, apparently, 
I upset some people from something I said on one of our previous shows. And, and so now the Smoke Report has haters. <laughs> You know you're doing something right when you've got haters. When you have the anti-smoking establishment disliking you so much that they're actually sharing your videos for the sole purpose of disliking them. Even going back months to put hatred on our older videos. Now, <clears throat> I want to thank those friends of ours who rallied on YouTube and Twitter to outvote the haters four to one. That's, that's touching, really. But I really want to thank the people who hate us. <clears throat> Allow me to speak to them directly. All right. <clears throat> you see, uh, first, you people have way too much time on your hands. Okay, but that's, that's not what I wanted to say, though. Uh, second, your efforts and promotion of our show have resulted in more views, more subscribers, more supporters, and better search engine placement. Do you know how much I would have had to pay to get results like that? Thousands of dollars. You guys saved me a bundle on promotional costs. So let's hope that I piss off more of you spineless whack jobs again this week. I gotta run, get out of the cold. I'll see you all in two weeks from sunny, warm Las Vegas, Nevada. Supposed to be, supposed to be my friend